Hello, 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 it's Buddy702 here, and welcome back to episode 4, I believe, of my hardcore survival world. Today, I'm going to attempt to get that iron farm working yet again, and we'll be doing that for the last couple episodes. But to do that there, I want to do a little bit of an upgrade. I need some soul sand, and probably get some magma blocks as well to make some elevators, so it's easy to up and down for mining. And I was thinking, oh, I'll make a bubble stream out of using the kelp. But that's quite a huge distance, and I'll probably drown. If I remember back off in the distance somewhere behind us here, there's the icebergs. So those there could come in handy. So just pedal it down, dig down to the bottom, pedal all the way up with ice, and dig back down. Then we should be nice and safe. To start off with, we're going to make an obsidian. Make an obsidian. We're going to make our portal out of the obsidian. And let's get ourselves a lovely flint and steel. Boom. Please don't dice, actually. I probably should keep that in there just in case. It's a bit of a pain if you accidentally get trapped on the other side. Oh. Oh, great. Shields work. Leave me alone. Lovely. Let's craft ourselves a crafting table just there. Chuck that down and grab some gold nuggets. And if we chuck those on the ground, we should be able to get some trades with them, hopefully. That is handy. So I think I'm just going to go around and sort of explore the nether and see if we can locate a fortress. I don't want to venture too far away. Is that one already over there? Oh. So I need to try and mark my way out so I know where did I pop it just here. By the way, I'm going to get the boss. Oh, blaze water, blaze water, right there. That is great. Uh oh. Uh oh, that was stupid. That was stupid. Let me jump up, let me jump up, let me jump up. Oh, I'm such a wimp. First try. Nope. Oh, cool. Near the water. That's good. I'm totally not lost right now. Scout. There's TPs hiding around. And no. Snap all of this here. And we've also got a soul sand, which is even a bonus. Oh, that's a bit cursed, isn't it? Cool, and we are now back in the lovely overworld. Oops, there's a pickaxe I dropped earlier on. I was trying to get my levels up. I've swapped out the golden helmet for the golden chest plate as it had fire protection and it was a lot more easy when fighting against the blaze. Got ourselves a little bit of supplies, which is good. Got some ender pearls on the way back from smashing some of those endermen. But not too bad. Got some of the supplies I was after anyway. And I think we've got, okay, we do have some magma there. So I'll be handy just to go put a little tube coming up and down here for easier, easier access between the levels there. Let's just go add this stuff into the mob drops. Cool, got a, getting a few collected up now. It's definitely a bit of a shambles, my inventory at the moment. We go into some redstone, which is looking pretty snazzy. I suppose to give ourselves a bit of fire protection, I probably should make up a brewing stand that's nice and easy to do. And I'll just pop it down in the corner here. 
do, oh yes i do have this recipe oh so this is a part of the vanilla tweaks that i have so how do we get fire fire resistance equals magma cream cool so we need to get ourselves some magma cream to get some fire resistance which will be really handy i'm just going to do a little test and see if we can actually get some zombie piglins or zombie men or whatever they're called to give us some magma creams i think they might be able to give us some and i think i've got some those in here if you can catch my drift so i think these guys here might be able to piglins could give us some of the lovely oh, that was... Some of the lovely magma creams that's what i'm trying to say so i think some of these guys here might be able to give, us, give us some of the magma creams so i'm going to try and get a little slot build up for them so they sort of just give us the items so pretty much dig up a little wall dig up little individual chambers along here for them Dig that down like so. That is one very loud ass pig. Um, I think your audio is broken, man. I've just been trying to get some of these guys to spawn in so I can try and get them in little chambers here, but I don't think it's going to exactly work out. Uh-oh. Why did I look at you? Why did I look at you like that? Uh-oh. No. Oh. No. 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 Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oof. That was the closest I think I've ever been to death in this world so far. Okay, so got little trade systems set up here. I am very petrified of the near, so I've got a little system set up here just in case we get attacked by an enemy. But these guys do not like you mining their blocks down on the ground because they will come and attack you. They do not like you opening up chests in front of them. Or they will attack you. They do not like you opening up barrels in front of you. Or they will attack you. But this is hopefully how I'm wanting the system to work. So maybe so I just set the bit of gold somewhat on here. And that there might work hopefully. If I sit it just here. I'm hoping that they will dispense the items and they will land on top of... land on the hoppers but that's obviously not the case must have to stand far enough away from them then they might go into here hopefully here we go that looks good so hopefully we can get some slot or stuff to build blocks out of them whoops i don't get why i'm beating the little lag spikes Okay, so for that blaze spawner I found earlier, I've made just a little simple little farm. You just wake that guy just before. I managed to get ourselves a couple blaze rods just in the dirt. It's a bit more easier. The spawner is directly above here, and pretty much they just par find their way over to the ledge here. And then I go ahead and swipe and get them there. So it's just giving me a little bit of an XP and a little bit more protection as well. So at least we've got something a little set up and so we can pretty much start getting ready to get our we'll get our supplies up for brewing. I have also since my last little scare there with the piglins that nearly killed me, I did go and get just a bit of fire protection on that there. And also managed to get our say our some fire protection on the boots, which is really good before you set the depth strider with the extra levels as you can see that it's dropped down. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a few more of these here and then we need to hunt out for a biome that generates the lovely slime balls.
Oh, I found a place where the slime spawn, I'm pretty sure. And it is actually not that far away. I've been looking for it for quite a while, but that's near the fortress just there. I did dig in one direction and could not find any at all. I've got a soul sand valley down there, that'll be handy. But yeah, I just want to get this stuff and just get out of here because, yeah, it's definitely very deadly, the nether. <laughs> I just don't like it too much. There just seems to be so many mobs as well, like plenty of pigment as well. As soon as you hex and you hit them, goodbye. Awesome, we finally got some. Where did we get one? I really need a looting on the sword. But at least we're now getting some supplies. That's the main thing. That's what I'm just trying to get. Oh my god. I got myself a lovely wither skull. And I managed to get that after... Let's just go around here. After killing six, that's pretty good. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I'm just trying to work my way back home. Okay, cool. So here's a little progress update. Since we found those magma cubes and managed to get a wither skull head, this is some of the junk we've managed to accumulate from... The nether, I've got a couple of those now because I found them that we obviously broke in the village here. Got a decent amount of ender pearls, but I was thinking to start off with and getting some decent amount of blaze rods. I think it will be quite handy if we have an ender chest. All our other junk in that there, and we do have a silk pick, which I might just rename Silky. So we know which one's which, and that will just be able to help us expand our inventory a little bit more. So we can just pick it up and move it around like so. And that there should be able to help us add more junk when we go mining like that. And so it's fairly good that we've got, I suppose, since we've got that there, it's really important. It's not going to make no difference. If we die, we die. But I'm just going to slowly over time work in the ender pearls for once when we do get to the end. And I really hope we do. But I really hope I've got enough stuff now to hopefully not have to go back into the nether for quite a while. So that is really good. I'm going to go ahead now. And I'm just going to quickly do a bit of harvest, a bit more breeding. And I'm going to go and insert the lovely water tubes going up and down here. And I'm also going to go up over here and try and attempt to fix this up just a little bit. Just rearrange the villager there. To do so, I'm going to have to venture off into the distance over there and get ourselves some of the ice and snow. So that should be able to help us make easier water vapors and also, yeah, need the snow to try and get this guy to be bobbing up and down. I'm going to go ahead and do that there, and I'll see you guys once I hop over there, I suppose. Is it a... Is a mushroom island right next to this ice biome? Oh my god, I'm absolutely loving this seed. Yep, that's definitely a full-blown mushroom island. Was not expecting that to be here. That's pretty cool. Not sure what we can do with that, but could be something for in the future. And then I started collecting some ice for the lovely water bait. I wanted to get a few stacks in the inventory. So that will be helping us when we pull her up. And when I started doing the water baiter, yeah, it was a bit deadly. I struggled doing it quite a few times. It was a bit difficult for air, but I just wanted to a different a good way to get up and down to the mines nice and easy. Yeah, had a few close calls just here. And yeah, this is how I was just sort of planning to do a little voiceover. Because I was a little, in a little bit of rage when doing this because I struggled doing it quite a bit. So here's the way going up now. I thought, oh, yep, that's quite a good way. Would have loved to have it right next to the ladder. But no, you can't do that because it will become waterlogged. So this is the lovely way going down now. And yeah, it's quite a bit slow. So I thought, oh, yep, let's just pop over here. Whoops. We know we're a bit too far. No, 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 not to venom. Bastard! I died. 
I have had to record this bit here over a bit more as well because yeah bash disc a bit too hard and yeah little bit of rage but anyway here's a little end bits that I just recorded okay well that is all over of I actually sat on that world for a bit longer and spectated world and for some reason when I clicked spectate world after I died which yeah um it decided to stop the recording software and yeah so now it's trying to revoice this over multiple times can't reload the world it's just saying loading train all my other worlds will load fine it should be loading fine but yeah it's just saying loading train and i can't get in there just to redo the spectating view that i did but yeah bit gutting definitely a bit gutting that i did not survive that long i showed up that i survived i think it was 0 0.57 days so not quite 24 hours in the world but yeah i'm a total noob falling off a ladder what a way to go I almost died multiple times doing that automator i should have done it it's gonna be another one i suppose i should have just hopped off finish that automator i was just going to go down to the bottom and just show you what i just built in the little progress update which i just showed you before my nice but yep that's it all over done bam done thank you guys for watching for those who watched and i'll see you guys in the next series goodbye i am such a noob yes i am i am such a noob because I fell off a ladder.